the lower parts of the bus, you know, a lot of people have concerns in that area usually. This is the bottom of the driver's side dog leg. It's the bottom of the nose. I think it's pretty likely that that's original. Being that when you look underneath the bus. Still have original floors. Original cargo floor. Battery tray on the passenger side appears to have been repaired. Side of the wheel wells on the driver's side, excuse me, passenger side front, back side of the seat stanchion, bottom of the front floor. They're normally trouble spots. Look down on the bottom of the rocker. Good shape. Uh, this paint job has been on there for at least 10 years. Uh, we think it's been on a lot longer than that. You know, generally, if you're looking good at that period of time, it's a pretty good sign about the quality. The back of the rear passenger side wheel well closing panel. It's the bottom of the uh, battery tray. The apron. The hinge carrier. Driver's side corner. Wheel well closing panel, driver's side, rear. The front of the wheel well. See, that's the back edge of the cargo floor right there where a lot of buses get pretty bad rust from road spray and whatnot. You see those little dimples on the bottom of that pinch weld? Those are factory spot welds on that long rocker. Sure looks like it to me. Wheel well. Driver's side front. See, has some undercoating. Has this the bottom of the bus in a lot of places. It's like the undercoating has been on there for Probably since since the bus was new. Oh gosh, can't have a bottom of the bus without seeing the uh, cargo floors. I hope you guys can see it. Probably see the frame rails too. I hope. I'm gonna scoot around to the passenger side and do the same thing on the cargo door side. Jack points, floors, frame rail, cross members, top hats, outriggers, jack points. And now we'll go up, do a walk around at the gutter. We're on the rear corner of the bus, driver's side right now, walking forward. This bus has six pop-out windows. It's not standard equipment. Should be, but it's not. So it's pretty cool that this one has it. We're walking around the front of the nose now. Passenger side. Look at the bottom of these cargo doors. How are they looking to you? Pretty good gaps too, huh? Bottom of the cargo door. I should have been a videographer, right? That is sarcasm. Bottom of the doors. The bus is originally sea blau. Now it's been painted a metallic blue color. It was two toned originally, blue and I believe it's called cumulus white. 
or uh, maybe it's not cumulus white. Now that I think about it, it's a uh, well, the name escapes me at the moment. Bottom of the pillars, this is the B pillar cargo area. While we're at it, there's the one on the driver's side. You know, you can look at those pillars sometimes and tell if a bus has had some terrible thing happen to it. These ones look pretty original to me. This is the uh, pillar on the back edge of the aft, the rear cargo door. Little dimples up there on the top. It tells you it's original. Driver's side, front door. Okay, here's the bottom of it. I think that's an original door panel. Sure has the look. Oh yeah, bottom of the pillar. There's a little Velcro right here. I have, oh, I know what that is. The bus has a bra, a black one. It's really ugly. But if you want to put an ugly back, black bra on the front of your bus, this one comes with one. That way you can replace rock chips with your paint getting worn off by a crappy black bra. This here looks uh, pretty nice, but uh, it, it might be hard to tell in the photos. It is not carpet. Original should have carpet. This looks like some sort of insulation was added. Dynamat or something along those lines. Maybe because of these uh, stereo stuff. I know the stereo looks like a kid owns it, but it's not. It's a really nice hippie lady who just retired and she loves her music. So, big loud stereo. Jail bars. Oh, that's right, we're doing rust. Well, it's kind of a boring subject because we don't find much of it, do we? Let's look at the bottom of the hatch. Latches work. Everything on the bus works. Got the little uh, plastic ends on the end of the jail bars. It's kind of cool. Don't hardly ever see those. Earlier ones, I aluminum. Driver's side door, front door. And dog leg. Going down, front edge, there's the bumper. Let's have a look at the bottom. Trailing edge of the door. Hope you can see that. Sorry, pardon the sun. The door's nice on the bottom. Down here on this bottom edge, you can see that there might have been some rust pits that was painted over in the past, but it's not bubbling or anything like that. Really, really minor. It's on the bottom inside edge against the door seal. Just want to let you know, it's not perfect, but it is real nice. And it's not missing uh, too many things. Let's start it up.
neutral, e-brakes on, turn the key, no gas, fires right up. I'll give it a little rev so that charge light goes out. There we go. I popped the engine lid, but uh, this little last day or two lost the original church key. And you get some aftermarket one, and those things are cruddy, and the tip broke off of it. I need to go grab a screwdriver to open that engine lid again. But uh, the engine, it's not especially pretty. It's just a good working engine. It's a 1600 dual core. Just a good engine. Doesn't leak much oil. The owner basically says it leaks no oil. I'd say it's a Volkswagen, don't be surprised if there's a drip every now and again. Why am I selling this bus? It's not my bus, it's a friend's. We uh, redid a 23 window bus for her dream bus. It's gorgeous, it's perfect, and was expensive. So, Mabel, that's the name of this one, she has to get sold. And we like to see it go to good people. There you go. 1965 VW, 13 window deluxe. Well, it's been so much fun, I barely want to stop uh, recording, but you know what? All good things come to an end. I just wanted to show you one last thing here before we go. The engine running with the deck lid open on Mabel, the 1965 bus. I said the church key was lost, and it is, or so I'm using a screwdriver today. Every Volkswagen guy does that eventually. That's the engine. I hope you can hear me over the engine, but it's just a simple, clean-ish 1600 dual port. That's the dual port in castings right there. Factory air cleaner on the on the right. Comes from the factory bracket. A little more power than stock. Nothing groundbreaking. Bosch alternator as well. So it'll have a good charging system to keep up with that super duper stereo. Thanks guys. And girls.